Good morning and good afternoon, kids. This is Teacher Gigi. How are you today? So for today, we're going to answer your workbook. So can you please get your workbook and open it on page 58. Okay. So on page 58, we're going to answer your mastery practice about the stage of matter. So all you have to do is to encircle the correct letter of the answer. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. So number one, which of the following statements is true about matter? When we say true, which is correct. Letter A, a book is not an example of matter. A book is not a matter. Letter B, Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. For example, is solid, the liquid, and the gas. Letter C, each substance can only exist in one state only. So for example, we have liquid. So liquid can only be liquid. It cannot be solid or it cannot be gas. Is it correct? Or letter D, matter is made up of very large atoms. So if we're going to look at the microscope, is it correct that we're going to see atoms like this and not like this? So what is your answer? Which of the following statements is true about matter? 3, 2, 1, the correct answer is letter Letter B. Very good. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Very good. Number two. Which of the following is not a matter? Which of the following is not a matter? Letter A. Rose. Letter B. Ant. Letter C. Sound. Or letter D. Carbon dioxide. Again, which of the following is not a matter, which is not a solid, not a liquid, or not a gas? A rose, B ant, C sound, or D carbon dioxide? Three, two, one, what is your answer? Very good, the correct answer is letter C sound. Very good. Next, number Three. So the information below describes X or X. Letter A, it has no fixed volume. Letter B, it takes the shape of its container. Letter C, its particles can move freely and randomly. Which of the following can be X? Again, it has fixed volume, it takes the shape of its container, and the particles can move freely. So what is your answer? A. Water, B. Paper, C. Nitrogen, or D. Iron. 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is letter. Very good. Letter A. Water. So water has a fixed volume, but it takes the shape of its container and it can move freely. Very good. Next, number four. What are the states of matter? Again, number four. What are the states of matter? Letter A, gas and liquid. Letter B, liquid and gas. Letter C, liquid and solid. Or letter D, Gas, liquid, and solid. So again, states of matter, we have three. So what are those? Is it only gas and liquid? Letter B, liquid and gas. Letter C, liquid and solid. Or letter D, gas, liquid, and solid. What is your answer? Three, two, one. The correct answer is letter... Very good. Letter D. Okay. So the states of matter, we have gas, liquid, and solid. 
Very good. Okay, next, number five. So, which of the following exists as a liquid at a room temperature? Again, which of the following exists as a liquid at a room temperature? So, meaning to say which of the following is a liquid? Letter A, stone. Letter B, water. Letter C, wood. Or letter D, candle. Again, which of the following is a liquid? A, stone. B, water. C, wood. Or D, candle. What is your answer? 3, 2, 1. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, water. Very good. Next, number 6. Which of the following is the property of a liquid? So, which is true about liquid? Letter A does not occupy space. Letter B has a fixed volume. Letter C can be compressed easily or letter D it's colorless. Again, letter A does not occupy space. Letter B has a fixed volume. Letter C can be compressed easily or letter D it is colorless. So what is your answer? 3, 2, 1. Very good. So, the correct answer is letter B. So, liquid has a fixed volume. Okay, next, number 7. So, how about a solid? So, what is true about solid? Which is the property of a solid? Letter A does not have any mass. Letter B has a no fixed shape. The letter C has a fixed volume. Or letter D can be compressed. Okay, three, two, one. The correct answer is letter C. So remember, liquid and solid has a fixed volume. Okay, next, number eight. Which of the following has a fixed shape and a fixed volume? So meaning to say, which of the following cannot change its shape and its size. Letter A, wine. Letter B, oxygen. Letter C, marble ball. Or letter D, milk. So again, which of the following cannot change its shape and its volume or its size? A, wine. B, oxygen. C, marble. Our letter D, milk. Three, two, one. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, marble ball. Because we cannot change its shape and its size. Alright, very good. Next, number nine. So, 500 milliliters of water is poured into each of three containers. So, we have a beaker, a cup, and a cylinder. So, they are different in shape, but they have the same amount of water. So, this shows that water or the liquid is, letter A, has a fixed volume and a fixed shape. Letter B, has the fixed mass but no fixed shape. Letter C has no fixed volume but has a fixed shape. Or letter D has no fixed shape but has a fixed volume. 3, 2, 1. Okay, very good. The correct answer is letter D has no fixed shape but has a fixed volume. So why? Again, these are different types of container. So, meaning to say liquid has no fixed shape because, because it has different shapes, right? But it has a fixed volume because even if the container is different, they are all 500 milliliters of water. 
Okay, and the last one, number 10. Which of the following can be compressed easily? Again, which of the following can be compressed easily? Letter A, ice. Letter B, margarine. Letter C, oxygen gas. Or letter D, glass. What is your answer? 3, 2, 1. All right, very good. The correct answer is letter letter C. It is oxygen gas. Okay, so that's it for today. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.